Another chance to be alive, just another great day. This morning, I ain't gonna lie, I hit the big 405 on the reverse lunge this morning. That's my all time PR, I ain't gonna lie. That might be my most impressive lift that I've ever hit in my life. But yeah, we hit it for a top single today. I did miss groove it when I was putting it back up. And I did miss groove it the first time when I went down because I missed the freaking mat, like the blue mat. So I freaking missed, but it doesn't matter because I hit it clean afterwards. But anyways, I was the big PR today. I'm not gonna lie, I don't have a lot planned today. I think we're doing a Bible study this afternoon. I really have no idea kind of what else I want to do today. I'm about to go see Lexi. We're about to hang out for a little bit today. But we've just had this really strong desire ever since we started reading together. They really start reading a little more often. But yeah, man, four or five PR today. I've been sitting in my car for literally like, I don't know, maybe an hour. It's freaking chilling. I've told you guys before, like, I've never been really strong, but now I'm starting to get actually strong. Now I'm trying to utilize it. Just the only way this stuff makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, I got a YouTube video to edit. I got some emails to send, some brand stuff that I'll be able to share with you guys pretty soon as well. I'll see y'all in just a second. I go see my girl and I'll see y'all just a little bit. Going to pick up my prom dress, this lady that she altered the back of it because my train was too long and she actually butchered it so bad. So we're about to see what she did to it. I cried over it yesterday. It looks really good. It good. Looks good. Yeah. <laughs> Got back to Lexi's house. Now I was gonna make like a transition of like coming from like outside, coming in her room and like showing like, you know what I'm saying, some stuff from her room. And the more I started looking around, he's such a hater. It seems like she's been busy or something because <laughs> looks like a freaking trade wreck. It's not that bad. I just, I just like giving her a hard time. She's, she's always like super clean. For my hug. <laughs> what do you think about my four or five now? He's pretty cool. I can't do that. If you were to like put me on your shoulders right now, could you do the same thing? Yeah. Why did you question that? I don't wait for your pounds. But I was trying to see how it would hurt you. <laughs> Squat. Yes. What? <laughs> so I'll just drift away and disappear for. Showing off his cool Jeep. We played pickleball for a little bit, but I'm not gonna lie, the bugs were a little bad, so he just came out to the here beach. They're taking the, the top off the Maybach. Ain't that what the song says? No, I don't wanna break it. Look at him. No! What you mean? Don't I'm, throw I'm, it. I'm put him in the back, bro. Look at Yates. I just let him do it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa!
boys. We're out of the facility. That boy Cam over there pulling 505 on the straight bar deadlift. I tried to move it, but yeah, that's not, that's, uh, I'm not there yet. You know what I'm saying? We'll give it some time, but yeah, we're about to read the Bible. I got the great word. We're gonna have a great time. We're gonna hang out. We're gonna go home and call it a night and go to sleep, but yeah. I'll, I'll work on the straight bar one of these days. There goes Big Cam, man. Shout out Cam, man. Let's go to Psalms 34. 17. 34 verse 17. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the broken heart and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. He protects all his bones. Not one of them will be broken. Evil will slay the wicked. The foes of the righteous will be condemned. The Lord will rescue his servants. No one can take refuge in him. 17 is what I started. I wanted the righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. I said, you experience the freedom when you ask. I really loved you experience the freedom when you ask. Like the last couple of weeks is when I felt a lot of this kind of like mental freedom. Not that everything's perfect, but a lot of freedom in regards to like the things I'm doing and like going to practice, going to lift. Like I've just felt like mentally free and like I've had a better chance at success in those areas. 34 verse 19, I wrote, uh, it says, the righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. I wrote, learn from it so you can overcome it. Sometimes he won't remove you from it until you learn. So Psalms 33, Verse one, to sing joyfully to the Lord, you righteous. It is fitting for the upright to praise him. Praise the Lord with the heart, make music to him on the 10th string, the lyre. Sing to him a new song, play skillfully and shout for joy. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. The Lord loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of his unfailing love. And there I wrote, set your mind on God. I'll be honest, me and Lexi, blah, blah, something happened earlier today. My first response was God. It wasn't because, it wasn't because of what happened or anything like that, but it was because I saw an opportunity where I could put God first. Before I could say anything back, before I could complain about anything that happened, I literally saw what could have happened and I saw an opportunity for me to be more like God. I really like the, the fact that I got an opportunity to, to have a different response and then it ended up working. So that was 33 verse one. And then I also wrote, be mindful of what you consume. Like whether that's people or you know, like some people only reach out to you when you're doing well. Just be mindful of those people because those aren't the people that are gonna be there when things suck. I also wrote, uh, listen to worship in times of trouble. I wrote, listening to it will shift your focus from your problems to the goodness of God. But I like Psalm 33 verse one because it does say, sing joyfully to the Lord, you righteous. Um, let's go to Romans 8, 18. That's my favorite Bible verse. 18 says, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed to us. For the creation waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. For the creation was subjected to frustration, not by its own, but by the will of the one who subjected it. But I like Romans 8, 18. In my, like, in the easy to read version on the Bible app, it says the pain you're feeling can't compare to the joy that's coming. I try to say that frequently, but it's one thing that's always in the back of my head. I wrote, when times get harder, pray harder. I wrote, bad day, not a bad life. And then I said, don't give the devil a foothold over the hard times. Just kind of being mindful of like those bad days and like those days where you're really, really out of it and you're sitting there and you're just like, bro, this sucks. Like just really being conscious of those and not like giving the devil a chance to feel like, oh, he's not in a good mood. Let me do something else to kind of fuel that bad mood. Like, I wrote, don't allow sadness to cloud a new day God has given you. But I think really waking up and understanding that we get new grace and mercy every Every single day. No matter what happened yesterday, no matter how bad the day went, no matter how bad he felt, you get a new chance because God is good. You know what I mean? He sent his son to die on the cross. We got a new chance. We got a new day. We got a new opportunity to literally breathe and be on earth. Someone didn't wake up. I think just being conscious of that, you know, not letting those bad days literally ruin our whole perception of life when we wake up. Some questions I wanted us to kind of take away. I wrote, how much longer will you sulk before you praise him for the victories? I wrote, um, why won't you try God and why haven't you gave him a chance? First Peter 5 or 7. But it says in simple terms, it says, cast your anxiety on him because he cares for you. So yeah, I mean, that's all I got. If you guys got anything, we can go from there, but. One thing I realized last night, I had a really bad night last night. Mm -hmm. it, my night was terrible. I came here, was gonna lift, didn't lift, bawling my eyes out, driving around for an hour and a half. For a second, I was like, my life's terrible. Why is all this stuff happening? Yeah. Stuff I've been going through for the past three, four months. And now my, arm, my arms hurt. Yeah. And I kind of sat there thinking, why? Just talking myself, why did this happen? But then thought about, that sucks, but my life isn't so bad. Yeah. I can still lift. Yeah. And, even baseball. I can't play, but not many people get the chance to play on the number five team in the country and go as far as we've gone. Uh, I thank you for everything you've done in GSA and GSA.